Welcome and love into your world. So this is the second one on vitality moments. Yes, vitality seems to be very important, not only for me, but hopefully also for you. So today's episode on vitality moments is really about the breath. And the breath is fascinating. Are you breathing? It means you are alive. Do you feel that breathing is hard? Maybe you're congested. Maybe your life doesn't seem to be in the flow. What happens in a vitality moment where you are conscious about the breath and where you feel a moment of bliss? Today I had a vitality moment, not only because I was so conscious of everything, but because that vitality enabled me to do something that I could have not imagined was possible. And it is also not about the achievement and the success. It is simply about the gratitude of being in that vitality and a vital breath. So how is breath vitality? We all know that breathing distinguishes us from the living and the dead. But how do we breathe? Most of us don't even know how to breathe. Our lung capacities can be very small. Most of us never sing or pay attention to the breath or learn how to play an instrument. But many of us do. And when we start noticing the breath as it enters and what we're releasing, this is one moment of vitality as we become conscious how the breath is giving life. The breath is giving life to my voice. The breath is giving life to the sound that comes out of my flutes. The breath is giving life to the words that you put out into the world. And your breath also carries energy. Is it positive? Is it negative? Is it giving life? Is it vital? Or is it destructive and destroying? But where does that breath come from? And this is my vitality moment today. While I'm conscious and while living in this beautiful nature, to really come into that sacred union with the air and the oxygen, that is not just here by accident, but the plants and the trees have so decided to give us oxygen, to give us life. So they are giving vitality to us, even though we cut it down, like here in the jungle, in the Amazonian area. Even though humanity cuts down their own vitality, the trees continue to give us life. So when we come into this relationship of these trees relentlessly just giving us life, regardless how we treat it. And when we understand the life it brings to us, we have a vitality moment. And it can be in many different ways. For me this morning, it came together in my yoga exercise. About 14 years ago, I imagine, I'm not entirely sure, I was in my first Kundalini yoga class, then took a long, long break and came back a couple of years ago. But there was one thing, one asana that was not mine. It's called the frog. And in another opportunity, or if you're interested, ask me more. 
I could not only do six. That was, I was finished and done. I fell. I did not have the strength. I did not have the breath. And today, as I'm more conscious in my praxis about this vitality exchange of nature with myself, as I was clear that vitality is part of the elements and how we choose to be in this vital relationship, that means participation and engagement. I was able to truly feel how the trees and the plants gave me that breath. And for that today, I did 60 frogs. I would not believe that this body, this Patrick, could possibly do 60 frogs. I've gone to 20, I've done a few times 30. And today, in the breath, in that sacred union with the plants who give so much love to keep us alive, I could do 60. And it's not about the 60 either. It is about being in that sacred union. It's about being in a sacred union of vitality. And surely the elements and breath and air are really a big part of this. How does it work for you? How could you experience a vitality moment in the breath? There's pranayama, there's breath work. You can do all these things, but imagine you're adding the magic to it, being conscious of the lungs behind it that giving you the vitality to really breathe. You may want to connect to the Amazon, the lungs of the world, or to the forest in your place. You may want to feel this vitality that is shared between living systems. And for you to tune in a little bit to this, let me share another thing that can happen with air and with breath. The sacredness of the element and the medicine. So let me share another medicine of the air, the sound. take you into this vitality moment, sharing the breath with the plants and the trees that give it, and the flute, and I becoming an instrument to share the sound, the medicine of vitality one of many.
So I hope and I wish that we can all experience and enjoy these vitality moments. And I hope you consciously bring the breath and the vitality that we are exchanging with this beautiful planet so that we can all live in vitality. Hope to see you soon and don't forget to tell me how it feels, what you're thinking and how these vitality moments come to you, especially today, the breath. For now, my love goes to you and also the vitality that I experience today. And I hope you experience many moments of vitality. See you soon for more Vitality Moments.